okay, they can see us. Really? Hi. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Okay, we're streaming. Welcome everybody. And thank you so much for joining. Hey, Chloe, Diane, Martine, Donna. I saw Mary Beth was in the chat earlier. So, Mark, Dave, what's the guy on the blue jacket? Oh yeah, I don't Patrick. Know, I don't know who he is. What? Yeah, we picked him up on the side of the street yesterday. Indeed. Captain Lee and the real star of the show is of course Pixie. Pixie so hello, Pixie, Pixie the boat dog. Okay. So hi everyone. Let's. Uh, why don't you scoot up to Dave so you'll have a mic, Patrick? Huh? Why don't you go and sit next to Dave and then you'll have a mic? Hi everyone. I'm here with my friends. Oh, it's <laughs> echoing. We're, uh, I've been helping Lee drive the, the boat because I find that when she needs to turn, <laughs> and we nearly crashed. Hi, <laughs> So Dave's here from Ireland, and every time we go under a bridge, Dave and I are going to sing. Mostly Yo, Dave. Sorry, I know. So this is Mark, <laughs> and we have to unfortunately show you Mark's injury today. Aww. Yeah. Yeah, so, I spent the hours of the day in A&E but another story that More means about emergency that in, uh, in our language here I'll, I'll go what a crew it. yeah thank you so anyway my welcome to Amsterdam I'm thank you all so fingers. much for joining do remember your mic so whatever you say is uh, audible Dave are your mic so that the, what's coming out of your phone is picking up in your mic oh sorry let me turn this off sorry <sighs> sorry see I'm a novice of these days yeah. I'm used to being on a canal in Amsterdam okay just pretend you're working oh, I'm it. so this is the these are the boats that Lee normally works on <laughs> hey Mark <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna crash okay <laughs> um Great, so is it all working? Sorry, I pushed the wrong button. Um, apologies, hey As Martin. You often do. Yeah. <laughs> so, what we're going to do today is first of all, Patrick. Yes. Can How you hear many me? times? Just I... check if the mic's working. Yeah, your mic is working. Yes. Okay. When was the first time you came to Amsterdam? Well, I came uh, chasing hamsters when I was 17 years old, actually, it was the first time I was here. How can you remember that far back? Um, well, it was only a couple of years ago. Oh. Um, hold on. Dave and I are going to have to sing for you here, Dave, as we get into the echo chamber, right? And I apologize in advance, but um, ready, Dave? Three. Um, and the old triangle when jingle, jangle all along the banks of the Royal Canal. I'm, I'm bettered by Dave there. So yeah, Amsterdam is a lovely place. The last time I was here, in all seriousness, Finn was not three years old. We were staying, we were living in France, in Paris, which is very gay. Gay Paris, as one says. Um, and we met my, my dear friend Rod and his two kids, and we all stayed here on the canal. And I cannot believe it because, of course, Lee and Mark met Finn and me last year. Uh, I, I thought it was a year before that. A year that, before, know. isn't it? Yeah. Well, it was sort of December, wasn't it? Or oh, November yeah, yeah. in Brussels, where sprouts come from. And, uh, but they and just call them sprouts there. We were there, there yeah. and we went to Maastricht, but I have not been back here. I was adding up for 13 years. And I'm, I'm shockingly embarrassed I didn't bring Finn with me, but then, of course... Finn is busy, I don't know, getting into university. He's got a girlfriend, too. He's got a girlfriend, yeah. yeah. Um, who, she'd love it here, too, actually. Yeah, yeah. So it's lovely to be back. Now, I'm going to give a shout out to my friends who are here. I arrived yesterday. I flew Calgary, London over here, took the train in. I was met by these three retrobates, and they were waiting with a boat. And then we spend an hour and a half on the canals, uh, and then we ate cheese. So yeah, I, there's not a better welcome. And then Dave flew over today, which is interesting, because normally you wouldn't have people on screen who are in witness protection. But, um, <laughs> but, but they let Dave, Dave out for the day, which is good. 
<laughs> and I think the big question is whether Pixie can swim. <laughs> Dave, you just arrived. When were you last here? The last time I was here was January 2016. In, uh, and it was winter. And it was happened to be beautiful weather. And I got a, a flight by Ryanair, is an Irish airline that flies all over Europe. Maybe some of you have, have heard about this airline, but they do discount cheap flights. And I flew here for flew flew here flew here for 1999 return, and I got a hotel for 40 euros a night. What? As I say, it was January. And actually, uh, Ryanair had just released a new. Um, it was a new route for them because they used to go to Eindhoven. And this time they were coming to Amsterdam. And I was on one of the very, very first flights when they introduced that. That's why I got it for such a great deal. So I haven't been here since 2016, but I love it. It's amazing. And you know what? The great thing about it is there's no more bicycles than there is people. I like that. Thank you. How long is the flight from Dublin? It's up in the air. It's only probably about 50, 60 minutes. Oh, really? It's as short as that. But it's okay. the time you get on the runway and, you know, get into the terminal and so forth. It's probably an hour and 40 yeah, minutes. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Is it true, Dave, that in Dublin's Fair City the girls are so pretty? This is correct. And my favourite girl is Molly Malone. Thank you. <laughs> I know Patrick likes her too. Cool. Well, the vague plan for this is that Lee's going to drive us around. Lovely Captain Lee. If Ta -da. he needs any help, I'm there for it. <laughs> oh, I love it. I, I, Captain. And, um, Basically, if you guys see anything that you're interested or want any, any info about, then just ask us. And um, we've also got some questions for you, but those are coming in just a little bit, some general knowledge Dutch stuff. And, uh, but yeah, otherwise, beautiful today. Look at that, that is called a salon boat, by the way. It's like a little Edwardian gentleman's boat. And, uh, yeah, thanks for joining on uh, Hopper Tour. Now, I've worked for Hopper Tour for ages doing private tourists. And as I hope you can see, the actual stream is in full HD. And uh, what I want to do, just to show off, is look how good the zoom is. I'm going to zoom in on Patrick. Isn't he a handsome fella? He's not. <laughs> you got, Dave's got the mic. And he's got his, he's got his shades on. I got the mic here. And then, yeah, just check out. Okay. So this is me in my younger version. I always keep Dave around to remind people what I looked like 20 years ago. <laughs> and check out the zoom on the buildings, because you know how much I love to zoom in on buildings and check out the detail. And I want Sorry, to know Mark, what Dave it's like and I are on heading your to side. a tunnel, so we have to sing. Okay, great. Okay. It's time to sing. Uh, it's got to be. Sure. No, I think. I met my love by the gasworks wall. Dreamed a dream by the old canal. I kissed my girl by the factory wall. Dirty old town, dirty old town. <laughs> so, Excellent. Sorry, that was Dave's voice, and mine was the sort of the raspy. Uh... Not at all, <laughs> you had a lovely voice, Dave. Do you know that? Do you know that Dave actually lived in the United States of America for 25 years? He was. I told him enough times. Yeah. On my tours. Can you imagine 25 years in in New England? Okay. No. Oh, you were in Maryland as well. Right? <laughs> yep. Baltimore or something. So, Annapolis. I'm in Boston. Listen on the way home. Hey, Pamela. Welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. So Hi. this is actually the Pamela. Amstel River that we're on, uh, that Amsterdam gets its and name from, Amsterdam. obviously. No, and it's actually, that's wrong, Mark. It's named after the little rodents. It's Amsterdam. Oh, It's where the they, they blocked all yes, the hamsters from invading so, so, the Netherlands. So, so. Um, in, yeah. uh, 14, Do you know, 19. okay, what, the, what, there's actually a word in Dutch, hamsteren, and it is to hamster. And it's a commonly used word here. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and it means to hoard. To uh, hoard. Like you know, like you would chipmunk would keep nuts. Uh, to hamster in is to actually you know put stuff away and build it up. So 
to so, collect. Sort of hoarding. All right. So, yeah. so I repeat my point that it's called Hamster Dam. So, and it was called, let's go with this, it was got, called um, Hamster Dam the, uh, because it was, they were hoarding all these fantastic goods from all over the world. Ha <laughs> ha, there you go. Oh, okay. That's actually called colonization. <laughs> Genocide. <laughs> yeah. Look at you. you. You, Lee, you look great. <laughs> Doesn't she look like a captain? Absolutely. She looks very much like a captain. She's, cool. yeah. She's so cool. She is cool. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. <laughs> Great captain. Well, that's the cool. Oliver Van Nu. So we have various things to eat, by the way. Um, and depending on whether Dave and Patrick do well in the quiz, they can get treats. Treats come roughly in the form of a really spectacular apple pie. Uh, it's the same recipe as Winkel or Tom Puss desserts or herring. Yum! Okay, that wasn't meant to be yum, that was meant to be yuck. Oh, oh. Okay. Where did I get the herring? Is it cooked herring or no? Uh, it's pickled herring. It's herring it's cooked. No. It's not uncooked. Well, it's not uncooked. I mean, it's. <laughs> it's. Uh, it's <laughs> It's pickled in brine. Yeah. Okay. So, but you like herring, yeah? I like it cooked. Okay. Well, done. well, we'll see. Okay. Well, then you know, I need to tell you about the herring. This can be. Well for you, Dave. This can be our first story now. Okay. The first story is about the Dutch herring. Now, everyone used to fish for herring. All the different European cities in northwestern Europe. Go ahead. And they would have. Um, yeah, just open that maybe. What they would do is they'd send out their day fishing boats and... Um, I heart you. <laughs> they'd send out their day fishing boats and catch the herring and bring it back and gut it and barrel it. Now what happened is that the herring shoals in the late 1100s, early 1200s, they kind of moved to the Dogger Bank area between Scotland and Europe. And the day fishing boats were... They didn't have the range to get to where the, uh, the shoals were. Now, the Dutch just happened to have better boats, which they built when they were challenging the Hansa League, but that's a different story. So they converted them into what were called herring buses, and they would take them into sea for five weeks. Wait, wait, wait for that. And um, they would have little fishing boats with them, and uh, they would catch the fish and bring them to the herring buses and gut them on board and barrel them. Now, when they gutted them on board, they used a different system which was gutting them through the gills. And it left in the pancreas, which with the enzymes and that actually made it taste better, which is highly subjective. And it lasted a whole lot longer in the brine. So the Dutch had a better product. And they branded it Holland Herring. And it's still going 800 years later. The first barrel sells for tens of thousands of euros. He's already started to eat them. He no, he had some gherkin. So, so here it is. So this is the famous pickled herring. Okay. I thought we were supposed to answer questions correctly. Well, I just thought we would just give you this one as a super treat. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you actually like that. It tastes like breakfast in Ireland. Okay, Lee and I will never ever eat that. <laughs> That's very impressive. It's okay, really, well. Where do I throw up? <laughs> <laughs> you can throw up overboard if you it's, like. It's like spinach to Popeye. So then, as a treat, just to wash it down, ooh, 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 what we have here is typical, well, this is Dutch Geneva, spelled Geneva, but it's said Geneva. Your neighbor. And it's, uh, it's the precursor of gin. It came before gin. The gin, English gin tried to make illegal. The English that tried to make Geneva and they failed miserably, creating gin. Uh, this is the real stuff. And Dave was really impressed with the date on this bottle. 1691 is when this is from. So, to wash down your herring. Gracias. Salute. 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 And um, Captain. And whatever you do, don't stand up. Huh? Stand up. Hold don't on. stand up. No, we have to stand up. No, no, out of respect. <laughs> just down. Listen, sitting down. Listen, I am not. Stand up, stand up, you can be a cheers. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, no, you're not telling him. <laughs> Help me on. So, cheers in Dutch cheers. is prost, like prost. toast. But you got to roll the R. Prost. 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 And it tastes like gin. Uh-huh. It's much nicer than gin. And you don't like gin. Ah. <laughs> oh, coot. I need some uh, orange juice with this. Oh. Or Coke or something. Well, I don't gin, know. What's we, a gin and tonic, right? Gin, tonic. Yeah. Uh, you could put some. You could. You, so are you we could, legally allowed to tip these cars over? Only if they're smart cars. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't make them very well, intelligent. Trying to do it earlier, do you remember? What's that? Before I broke the car, yeah. Tried to do it yeah, earlier. we had that other. Remember that <laughs> Do wanna? I haven't <laughs> had <laughs> any. Do wanna wants to know how many Genevas have you had already? Well, I've been at the hospital all day with my uh, with my finger. I don't drink this stuff. <laughs> Dave never touches a drop, and I never, I never actually realised that Patrick used to drink until one day I saw him sober. Huh? <laughs> I, I don't know what you're Apple. talking about. <laughs> okay, beautiful oh, little the canal. There. Goose. Yeah. Is there an Egyptian goose? Yeah, oh, look at them, how beautiful they are. Can we squeeze through? Hello. Egyptian geese are just the here, come, prettiest. Come, come over here, everyone. Wow. Everyone, come to this side. There's another one here. Yep. I like them a lot. I like them a lot. Zoom in on this little fella. Aren't they just the prettiest of geese? Oh, just I should take that. That's disgusting. Oh, hold on, so you got the microchip. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this view down here. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, quickly get the view down here. Oh. Are people even listening to us or what? Oh, I'm zoomed in. Let me zoom out a bit. I'm struggling to zoom out a little bit. Yes, yeah, so find the oh, postcard. It's made for photography, isn't it? Hey, are you good? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can do this a bit if you want, just as I said, don't touch that. Yeah, no, no, I'm, good. I'm happy to hold it for you. Great. All right, so everyone, I've taken hold of this. Um, now, what marks, so you're looking, by the way, Captain, you're on screen here. So. Say, you're meant to say make it so. She's oh. an excellent driver. She's an ex excellent driver. <laughs> Never let men drive. Um, we we should have a vote here. Hey Pam, are you here? Hey Pam. Pam, well you're friends with Pam, of course. My my Pam, I shouldn't say my Pam. Our Pam. Pam. Back home, yeah. Love it, friend. So does everyone want to see Mark swim? <laughs> I can't. It'll affect my, it'll affect my finger. It will, it will. Watching you swim is infectious, Mark. Um, it's, oh, I see that. Sorry, the chat is rolling by. We have to move it up. <gasps> look, nuggets. Oh. What are we looking at? Nuggets. Oh, oh look at you. Oh. Look at these gorgeous, gorgeous. Coots. Coots. There's a little cooties. Oh. oh. Echo! Echo! So, tell us a little bit, Lee, about your earliest memories. Oh, what? How's my earliest memories of Amsterdam? Oh! At Amsterdam. Which means hoarding, by the way. <laughs> earliest What's memories? What's the building down at the far end? Sorry Finest. to interrupt you there. What's that building way down there? Oh, the Wach, an old defense tower. The slash uh, <laughs> public execution site. Oh. Slash. <laughs> Thanks for telling me about the oh. roof. Public <laughs> slash execution site. Slash restaurant. Slash art gallery. So yeah. basically, if we went that way, it's a dead end. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I've just gone up to where we see the uh, the chat now. Oh, check out what's so, in the canal there. Oh, oh. Sorry to move quickly. Look at this gorgeous building up on the left here. This is the... And... Oh, yeah, check this out. What is that? What are you showing? It, just, it looks like all this is connected to the boat. Yeah. It's fallen over the... Yeah, so the bike has fallen over the edge here. <laughs> Anyone want a free bike? And I, no, I love the fact there's still a lock on it. Yeah. So... Very seriously, you two. This is still fresh water we are going through at the moment? Um, or brackish yeah, water? Yeah, it's fresh. It could be ever so slightly brackish. 
because the cruise ships which come in from the North Sea, yeah. I know them, they bring up uh, in some salt water. So my little boat, for example, will get limpets underneath. But fundamentally, it's fresh it's, it's water. Basically, fresh basically water. Basically, yeah. fresh water. Yeah. Yep. And um, so, I mean, to be fair, and I don't want to speak too much to Amsterdam, but basically the whole city is a series of canals around the south side of the Amstel River. The Amstel River flows out of the middle, middle of the Netherlands. Is that a... Mm, not even so fair? far. It's quite a yeah. short river. It's a little peat marsh river. There's 18 million people in this country, oh. and I can actually fit this country in my backyard. <laughs> so it's, Bikes um, on a boat. Oh, Bikes in the boat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bikes and beer super, on a boat. Super high level of education here. Hi, Laura. Can't change your name. Oh Sorry. my gosh, this Grebe has a little baby on his back. I, oh wow. Oh, oh, oh that's oh, so oh, cute. Oh, oh. That is gorgeous. So oh. here's a Grebe. Grebe with a baby. Oh my god. Yep. Oh, you okay? Yep. You the good? babies yep. look like zebras. They're all striped. They're so cute. It's actually pronounced zebra. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Hello, baby Grebe. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> they look like mergansers to me because They're of the tufts so in their heads. They're so cute. Look at the babies. Hello. Oh, she has two. Aww. Or three, I think. Yeah. They're so sweet. I don't think I've ever seen them. Hmm. Aww. What a gorgeous... Oh, what a spectacular one. You can tell they're fishing birds, though. Look at that pointed beak that's made for hunting. Yeah, they catch eels. Yeah. I saw a cormorant wrestling an eel once on the canals. Oh, yeah. Did you? Oh, look at this. So sweet. Oh. Very, very lovely. <laughs> oh, it's totally baby bird season in May. I see about... Oh, they have a fish. This one has a fish. Oh, he just dropped it. I usually see about 10 the, um, baby bird families per tour. Lee, what do you call a fish with no eyes? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Grebe was bringing the fish for his wifey there with the kids, and then he dropped it out of his mouth, so now he's gone diving to get it. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the question's here. Are the canals out in the mic? Um, here. Well, I've, I've now got two yeah. things going. Yeah, absolutely, the canals are man-made. And Human the point of actually. that is that this was a swamp, and they were dug out of the swamp land so they had to concentrate the water in one place so that and they could have land in the other places and Amsterdam's actually made up of basically 91 great big islands um, Portofino. generally uh, they are rectangular islands so I now because I thought we need to have something to do is I have a few questions for Dave Dave, you got to sit and down, also for Patrick. Okay, so, oh, the finger story. Right, well, okay, I'll tell you what the finger story is then. I was raising the outboard motor of my boat. Actually, if you guys sit somewhere, then I'll sit opposite you. All right. And then I can. And I got my finger caught in the hoisting mechanism of the motor, and I basically cut off the end of it, and I had to go to A&E and... I had a stitch or two, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a whole drama. But the bone was not exposed, so that's great. Sure, we can go anywhere. Um, great, okay. Now, here are some questions for you two. What, and why, we, where's uh, your mic? I have you to ask one mic. just before, just because sure. Dave was waving. Why does King Charles always wave with his right hand and never with this one? I don't know. Why? Because it's mine. Oh gosh. Okay. You know, I, I do. I do go off people, Patrick. Just to warn you. A bit like pickle okay. herring. The jokes were good earlier, but now it's getting late. Okay, so we're gonna do. This is just an easy one to get you in the mood. So, if you want, if you say in Dutch, uh, you get kippenfell, it means you get chicken skin. Um, I'm pretty sure you can think of what the English equivalent would be. Of chicken skin. Yeah, if you get chicken skin. Um, uh, pale skin? Pale skin? Nope. You're scared of something. No. Oh, I thought this would be really easy. Huh? No. Okay. Ghost, ghost skin? 
Huh? Ghost. Ghost skin? Ghostly. No. So if you get chicken skin, what does it mean? Pamela got it right. Martine oh, got it oh, right. Oh, loads Martin. of people got it right. No, we didn't get it right. Uh, I'm not Edge of McKenzie myself. I wouldn't know. Edge of McKenzie. I wouldn't know such a thing. Oh. What's your talk about? In Dublin now. Okay. We'd talk that way there, so. Okay, well, then you're going to get a punishment, and the punishment is eating the pickled herring, and you've done that already. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it's to get goosebumps. Oh. Yeah, to get goosebumps, to get chicken skin. Pam? Okay. Like, Lots please of people keep got mind it right. Pamela Manning is hey, much better. Donna, Donna got and it right. The old jingle, when jingle, jingle, all along the banks of the Royal Canal. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. The bells are ringing, folks. <laughs> So many times up. They heard us. Yeah, they ring you for me and my girl. Fantastic. Okay. This is a slightly more difficult one, which doesn't bode well since you didn't do very well on the last one. For those of you who speak Dutch. For those of you who speak Dutch. Skin goes bumpy. Goosebumps. Chicken skin. Goosebumps. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Anyway, in Dutch it's nu kom te aap uit de mouw. And it means now the monkey comes out of the sleeve. Any idea okay, is not the answer. No. Okay, so now what you need to do is a challenge. So Lee, can you just question. hold that for a moment? Oh, you need oh, to I go around difficult can, corner. Do you want me to steer for you? No. no. I'm really happy no, to steer. Don't let not. him steer. No. Oh, oh, don't don't let him job. steer. Hey. Sorry, Captain, no. there's, a, there's a boat in front. Yeah, no. don't worry, it's a one-way system here. No, 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 no. Don't worry. We, Dave's it. here because we're driving the other By side. By the way, Martine the says the punishment for not getting something right is a dip in the canal. <laughs> oh, there's no problem with that. It's, we already put our foot in it earlier. So this used to be two-way, actually, when I was working on canal boats, and it was treacherous. You'd come down you. here, and there would be a boat coming directly at you the other way. Okay, now your challenge. Yes. Maybe you want to clip the mic on somewhere, Patrick. Well, no, I'll hold it here. You're going to need two hands oh, for this. Excuse me. And the old triangle <laughs> went jingle, jingle, jangle, all along the banks of the Royal Canal. Every time we go away. Okay, now you got to take one of these each. I can't do it because of my finger. Take the whole lot. The whole lot. Whole and then, lot, and basically lot. there's four there, I, and you just got to take one each. One right. each. Not all four, yeah. one each. One each. Oh, and you got to eat pieces. it without making a mess. You got to make impo it. That's impossible. I don't even eat this stuff. This Jesus is right. You're going to have to eat it now. That's why it's a punishment. You got to eat it without making, without making a, mess. a mess. You can uh, give that back to me. Back to you. Without making a mess. Have you got any tissues? Mm. No. No tissues. That's what jeans are no for. Mess. <laughs> You're not doing too badly, but oh no. So this is called a Tom Puss, by the way. Do you like it? Yeah, it's delicious. In that sort of sugary way. Get the sugar fix. Lee, do you want one? Do you want it? Can you eat it without making a mess? Huh? Okay. I'll get the dogs to lick my fingers. That's a very clever <laughs> thing you, you to kill, do. You kill the dog, don't you? I don't know if the dogs like cream. So this is a bit like going into an MRI machine, don't you think? <laughs> it's like going... Ready? Sing a different song. I met my love Whoa. by the gasworks wall. Okay, that's Dream. it. Um, no. Okay. <laughs> Can you hold that? I'll show sure, you how to sure. eat them without making a mess. Oh, he's... <laughs> Mark, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, but... Yeah, yeah, you ready? All right, so Mark... Yeah. ...and Lee are Do eating... Do the chat, will you? Who's on there? Oh, Jay's there. And Jay is an awesome person. Hey, fam. Hi, everybody. Good to see you all. Hope you're all doing well. Look at these two. Um, so I'm glad you all paid money to see them eating. Hi, Laura. Sorry for messing up the show, folks. Sorry. Hi. Uh, I would like to give a big hug to my friend Laura in Toronto because mm -hmm. her Welcome son indeed. is out in Alberta helping out the election. <laughs> and so I give you a big hug for that because it really matters. Uh, I realize people haven't paid to hear about <laughs> the politics here. Mm -hmm. 
Your well, finger, your finger's actually still dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me yeah. see who's on here. <laughs> oh, it's like a Nanamo bar. Is that what you say? I don't know. Tina, what's... Do cars ever end up on the canal? Yeah, right, cars. Yes. How, how, many, how are you, Marlene? Good how many a year? Cars about 12, Lee. We, we last night, we tipped at least three cars, over. Huh? There we just Smart cars. Oh, look at this one. Okay. Tina, what's... what? That's what I'm doing. No tissues is why you can't. You got, you got food got on your nose. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. actually scrolled. Yeah, look, down you got to show them the far car. Oh, yeah. Gentlemen, gentlemen, you got to show them the far car. Gotta, so gotta, as far as cars go. going in the canal, it's about yeah, 18 one, a year, Lee. Oh, so, that. so, so. Yeah. It's like a, yeah. a buggy for a, a golf cart. That's actually a real a little electric buggy. car. A, a proper yeah, car. Really? And um, yeah, they're great. They're really, really super for two people. Maybe beers after the quiz, says uh, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe, Chloe Can if I you want to... Yes, yeah. yes. Hello, what do, do you need a mic? Here you go. Take that. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So we're getting close to a certain neighborhood where people get a little bit more wonky. They get a bit more drunk and stoned. So it's an area where you're just that much more likely to end up in a canal. So Mark, if you point towards just above the waterline, oh, yeah. there's a white rope. This is the only neighborhood of Amsterdam you see this. And it's a lifeline, literally for the drunk people who fall in, which is really helpful. Yeah. Because in the past, just a few too many went in, and it's expensive to fish them out. And <laughs> Yeah, 18 cars a, a year is quite high. Um, you will notice, I mean, like, just look on the other side there, there is no barrier at all. So that white car there is really, I mean, I think the wheels are about probably 20 to 30 centimeters away from the canal wall. Here is the smoke boat, by the way, where stoners go because they can smoke weed on a boat. And this is a very exciting thing for them. It's called Monday. We don't have any smoke boats. No, you wouldn't. Mm. Okay. Oh. So, just remind you that we do actually have a little captain here. Mm. Captain Pixie. Mm. She's a treasure. Hey, Pixie. Okay. So, there's more. There's more. Let's see if you guys can actually get one right. Okay. This is quite an easy one. Okay. The, oh, okay. Song. Ready? The easiest ones are the hardest. Hey, here's, uh, here's the mic. I've been a wild rover for many a year. I've spent all my money on whiskey and beer. And it's been no, nay, never. No, no, never, no, no more. So I paid the way. Okay. The tunnels aren't long enough here. There's bridges coming up. Hello, Are you ready hello. for the next one? Come on, wave. Uh, wave back at me. Look, hello. It's, uh, it's... Wa waving is goodbye, whereas it should be hello. That's I'm doing boat. You're doing boat. Oh, there's a mallard. This, this is a mallard. Uh, hello, and this one's mallard goodbye. with a green head. That's a male oh, mallard. Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous like birds. They mate for life. Uh, <laughs> unlike unlike Mark. Um, that's oh, well, I mean, a lot of food. my friends mate for life, just with lots of different people. <laughs> But that anyway, is, I, getting not, back to I'm the quiz. Your, getting back your to the quiz. Okay, <laughs> in Dutch, in yes. Dutch, lange tenen hebben means to have long toes. What do you think it means to have long toes? And a similar one in English, perhaps. Not to have long toes. Uh, you need to cut your toenails. No, uh, no it'd be something different. So you sure, have I'll get long scenery. toes. Long toes it means you have webbed feet and you're good at swimming. No. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, it's not. Long toes. Do have long, okay, let me give you a clue. Like what would, in, no, say it again in Dutch first. Oh, okay. Some of that can actually lick their feet. Lange teen in heaven. Lick their feet, like go oh. like this. To have long toes. What would happen if you had long toes? You were able to, what's that called? Flexible. What's it called when you uh, were able to put your feet up to your mouth? What's that called? It's no, that's so not it. Right. Yeah. Something to do with that, is it? Okay, wow. Okay. Oh, Gosh, you guys are really rubbish at this. We're still, uh, 
I'm overcome with okay, indifference. Okay, it means to stepping on somebody's we'll toes. No, somebody's stepping on your toes. Oh, stepping on. All oh, right, so you have long toes. So, it means that I'm trespassing oh, on, your on your private. Toes. This is my first yeah. house in Amsterdam, by the way. Oh, well, Just to the left true. of the Bulldog Cafe. The Bulldog Cafe is not your first house. Okay, so oh, the yeah, we'll give you. Yeah, the bulldog. That's famous. This is where British people come yeah, to get stuff. Okay, well, if you didn't get that one, you're so never going to get the next one. Amsterdam. Yeah, the bulldog. But it doesn't look. It's much rougher looking than it was once upon a time. Okay. Okay, you got to get one right. I'm going to skip to this one. Okay, in Dutch, met your nose in het boter fallen to land with your nose in the butter. Oh, that's a good one. To land with your nose. You know the butter. It means you've fallen over and you fell into the butter. <laughs> oh, come on. Try harder. Uh, you've fallen in love. Um, you fall with your nose in the butter. What would you say in English? You, um, uh, you are lactose intolerant. No. Um, <laughs> you uh, are... You are uh, buttered up. Buttered up. No, no, no. So you fall over and your nose is landed in the butter. Don't you have a saying? I mean, I grew up with a saying, which is just one word difference in English. You grew up with apartheid, dude. Well, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't share. I don't share. I will know this I don't bring answer. residential homes into everything. I will everything. know this answer, butter, later. Well, in English, the way, where I come from, <laughs> you land with your bum in the butter. What? You're bummed? You're bummed in the butter. You're really lucky. If like you, you really like you land really well. Um, you... We would not use that term at all. No. Really? We no. don't use well. any of these we terms. Would say we, we would say we huh? We are out. not that stupid. We just never use any of these oh, terms. We need a song. This is we need completely song. different. We need a song. And we're gonna have to sing a song because I've been no wild rover for many a year. And I spent all me money on whiskey and beer. And it's no We lost. These are not long tunnels here. Hello. Okay. How are you? Hello. Oh. So Dave is making friends. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know who we are? <laughs> okay. This is Dave Kavanaugh. Dave is a, it's a, Dave. It's Dave Kavanaugh. Hello. <laughs> no, you don't know me. Come Irish on. Irish television. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not know Dave Kavanaugh? <laughs> What's wrong with these people? Used to recognize them. Used to perform in this place over here on the right. No, no, no. What, in the old right church? Up, right above. The, the, the second window I was these in. These window. Okay, window. I can show these windows because oh, there's no at, women visible, yeah, but these are actually Poutine. red light different districts. Cartier Poutin. Cartier Poutin. I remember Poutin. the days I was oh, standing outside that window. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know? And you Dave, were looking Dave, at me downstairs. David, it doesn't wear well if you say you were standing outside the window. <laughs> Sorry. In Nego the window. In the window, and you were on the floor looking at me. Okay. Oh, the apple pie. I forgot the apple pie. Okay. I'm not eating the apple pie. Let's try... Poor Pixie. Where is poor Pixie? Okay. You need different Oh, hello, beautiful girl. How are you? You ready? How are you? Um, we'll see you there, right? Thank you. Thank you. Ready? Three, two, two one. Go on home, Three British minutes. soldiers. Go on home. <laughs> Ain't you got no? Oh, sorry, the song's. Oh, no. oh, ah, man. look at that. That's beautiful. What a calm dog. So uh, <laughs> chill, as well. So chill. Just like uh, just like Lee. <laughs> it's like Lee. Lee is chilled and the dog is chilled because of Lee's chilled. Okay, what do we got over here? So this is really the oh, old, oh, old part of town. It's the oldest canal in town. These beautiful old, like, 1600s oh, yeah. buildings. Oh, and we've got Captain Dave. Hello. <laughs> Pixie's just the best. And I can't even answer our questions. Totally. No, you Don't can't. Don't even ask me Okay, we got, we're yeah, almost we'll through the up, list, we'll though. That's good. Okay, but you're never going to get this one. But well, it is a funny one, though. Well, nailed the other ones. Okay, so this if the, the Dutch, one, let's just the maybe. Street bar, it's pronounced I swear we get this one right, folks. We'll get this one right. Maybe I've actually said this to you if before, you just because it's answer. so weird. In Dutch, and fear in your raid staken. So to stick a feather in your butt crack. <laughs> to stick a feather in your ass, basically. What does it mean? What would the equivalent of an English be? The, you're talking out of your butt. No. Jeez, that would have said that too. I would have said no. that too. Where would you stick a feather in English? In your cup. Yes! yes! We 
we got one right. <laughs> Folks, we got oh, one right. You get, you okay, get it, you get it, which Dave, means Dave, 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 Dave. you get a piece of gorgeous apple pie. I cannot pie. believe it. The first of all the answers. I can't believe it either. I even beat Patrick Toomey. Patrick Toomey, I'm cleverer than you. Thank he, you. He's been, <laughs> he's been beating me for pie. years, Father and he, Dave. And he likes it. Let me tell you, he likes it. <laughs> Right, this is such a beautiful corner. Let me do a quick pan around for you. Oh, Ooh, look at this. This is kind of what we call this Little the, uh, Venice here for obvious Venice, reasons. The the South. Yeah. As they should, as, as they, they should. should. To be fair, Venice is a little older. Well, and messy do. So. Yeah. Well, well done, you got one right. That's fantastic. Congratulations. A fell in again? It's only because we Which tap on it. I prefer the Dutch. I would never have got that right. I have a feather in my butt. Until Mark put the, feather, the cap on my head. I would never have got that right. No? No. Okay, there's another interesting so one. Somebody put that on my head. I've been to answer that question. Oh, okay, so. let's. I actually, I'm going to spin you around a bit too quickly. Sorry about this, but um, I love this piece of water here because it's been here for about 800 years. The, the lock gates that we're just going through now are what cut out the sea when it was still tidal on this side. But if you said to Iemand under het behang plukken, if you taped somebody look behind, behind the look, wallpaper. Look behind you. Look behind you. Yeah, we got it. To tape somebody behind the wallpaper means what? Don't have a collision here, folks. To tape someone behind the oh, wallpaper. Yeah. Why, why would you want to tape somebody behind the wallpaper? Uh, because they are. Uh, this is not a question. Oh, Jesus. I don't know the answer to this one. Well, why would we want? Why would you want to tape somebody behind the wallpaper? Because you don't they like They say, like, them. oh, yes, you don't want to see them for a while. Oh, that means see? you get some apple pie as well. Oh, I don't want any apple pie, but I'm. I'm. Did a, you get a right to I'm a, Well, sort of. I'm a wiener. Congratulations. Uh, uh, thank you. Now you're up at me. <laughs> what each? Okay. Um, I think what Jesus is doing. Well, mm. one out of four, that's good. Hey, this tower here <laughs> is actually where this guy called the Henry Islam. Hudson. Have you heard of Henry Hudson? Oh, okay. Um, wait? Yeah, you, what, which one have you got? Okay, um, Who's got the mic? You got the mic, yeah. yeah. Oh, song. song. Let's get the same one. Yeah. No? I can't think. <laughs> yeah. I divide a builds a boat and I divide a sails her. I divide a catch a fish and brings them home to the hyzer. That's a Newfoundland song. I was going to sing. Uh, Are you, come on, sing, gonna sing. sing. You're going to run out of gear. Yodley. 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 Dublin, the rail times, but we're not in Dublin. We're, we're not Amsterdam. in Dublin. We're in Amsterdam. Can't be singing that song. Damn it. Oh, well. Oh, there's the train. They have double decker trains here. Hey. And when I was coming in from the airport yesterday, I put on my altitude app and I was 1.6 meters below sea level. So Let's there's go down the double Andrew tree, Val, yeah? and there's actually three trees in front, so it's a liar. Very bright. No, so mm -hmm. Okay. I booked this tour myself, I can't even see myself on it. <laughs> I want to um, try something else, so maybe you'll be a bit better at this. The English were often very jealous of the Dutch, okay? Particularly in the 1600s, That's because the Dutch were just so much better than the English at everything. Uh, they were better Echo. at trade, they were better at exploiting, they were, you name it, they were better, and they were richer. So the English... I think the Blackfoot were far, hang on. far more superior people. I got the talking stick. Now, uh, the English uh, used to make up all sorts of rude things about the Dutch, and this is the funniest one here. It was actually a pamphlet in an English newspaper, and you see there's a horse and there's two Dutchmen and something that says the Great Butter Box. And the heading of this pamphlet is The Dutchman's Pedigree or a relation showing how they were first bred and descended from a horse turd which was enclosed in a butter box. <laughs> that is what the English are writing about the Dutch. And it didn't stop there. They chose all sorts of rude things to say about them. So see if you know what some of these things mean. Okay, come on, guys. Dutch courage. What does that mean? Brave. No. Speaking of. Dutch courage. Uh, if somebody has... the leap. Oh, you don't know. Okay. Dutch courage means you have to have a few drinks to be brave. That's what I meant. 
Okay. That's exactly what he meant. But you just didn't mention the part about having a few drinks, which is that kind of central Ireland, to it. Yeah. In Ireland, that is called waking up. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> and the old triangle when jingle, jingle all along the banks of the Royal Canal up in the female prison there were seventy-five women, tis amongst them, I wish I'd be dwelled. Um, oh, they heard us singing. Okay, Martin yeah. says, they won't let on if I push you overboard. Sorry, what did Martin say? Marek, we won't let on if you want to push them overboard. Fabulous. I'm with you, Martin. Anyway, okay. Look at the cool off. Next away. one. What does going Dutch mean? Uh, did you just ask that earlier? No, what does you going did. Dutch you mean? Going Dutch means... Uh, it means sharing the bill. Basically, well, yeah. Paying for what you, for you what had. You yeah, okay. What does double Dutch mean? Uh, Two Dutch people. <laughs> <laughs> Talking out of your head. Talking out of your ass. Double Dutch. Isn't it? No. Uh, triple, uh, double Dutch. Uh, triple Dutch. Double speak. Double speak. No, not uh, double speak Dutch. as such. It does mean, um, basically, gibberish, hard to understand. Mm, like, like because you know how Dutch is pretty difficult to understand yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. So double Dutch oh, double is just Dutch. incomprehensible. Yeah, you're right, you're right. What do you speak of double Dutch? Yeah, I yeah. hear you now. Yeah, I remember that. What's a I Dutch remember? uncle? Dutch uncle? Yeah. Oh, it's it's uh, your brother or your sister's brother who comes from the Netherlands. Nope. Oh. It's uh, your d Dutch uncle is um, your, your father's friend. Basically, an uncle is meant to be like a friendly figure, a vuncula. Uh, this is the opposite. A Dutch uncle is meant to be an uncle that's or a person that's very strict and harsh. Oh, really? It's a, a Dutch uncle. So there, oh, you, really? you got about 50% really? of those right. Who yeah, wants yeah. a Dutch uncle? Forget yeah, absolutely. I divide a bills of boat, and I divide a sails, sir. I divide a catch of the fish, sir. Out of that tunnel. Oh, Jesus. Uh -oh. What, what was that? that? What was that? Just attack there, folks. Well, teenagers throwing shit. Teenagers throwing shit. I don't know, it's what like a little it? squib thing. Fireworks. Anyway, thankfully, Pixie didn't, Pixie didn't even uh, flinch. She's chilled, she's completely yeah, chilled. I, I, I honestly thought, yeah. oh, I see them. I thought Dave was going to jump over the edge. I'll go get him. Let me, Dave, let yeah, me yeah. out. Let me at him. Let me out. <laughs> Hold me back. <laughs> I would, I would, I, you see him? He, he's cowering down the little person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she, she didn't mind. She, 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 she was she fine. Was yeah. That's because Pixie and I are friends. Okay. Pixie, you don't have to worry because... She totally chilled up. Yeah. Pixie and I are members of the Commons Party, so we just care about everything. So, um, yeah. okay, where are we going to go? Just tucking into the side. Why don't we get, Great. Oh, why see, don't we get much deeper into uh, Lee's life? Hang on a sec. All right. Yep, what do you need? There we go. <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> no, just giving you the mic for a change. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the songs. Um, okay, I just wanted to say, by the way, as far as going Dutch goes, we are not going Dutch today because uh, what we're doing is we're all going to go out and have a lovely meal and we're going to use the proceeds of this tour. And for those of you who want to or are interested in how the whole tip thing works on Hopper Tour, there's a button somewhere. And Hopper Tour give all of the tips to the guides, just less the credit card handling fee, which is obviously somebody has to pay somewhere. Just so you know. And this tower here is the Montalban Toren, and I've lost focus. Ah, there we go. When is this from? 1516, 1516 we established yesterday, yep. yeah? Yeah, it was actually started in 1514, but it took a year and a half. Patrick's talking, but nobody can hear him. Isn't it lovely? He's about to go for a swim, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Dates back to 14 as well. This tower here is actually outside the city walls because uh, the people in this part of the city were outside of the wall um, and they kept getting attacked from people from Gelderland and they weren't too pleased about it, so they lobbied for the city to build them a defense tower and um, but not connected to any wall anywhere and um, 
it started leaning over and the neighborhood actually got together and they managed to pull it upright. Rembrandt used to paint it and draw it rather etchings. But he didn't like the frilly top that they put on, so he just ignored that. And he, he drew it without the frilly top. What's this canal called again, Lee? Ouderschans. Ouderschans. Do you mind showing the science museum in the back? No, it's too far away. I'm going to show where you uh, stayed the first time you were in Amsterdam, Patrick. Should we get back to them? I think they're Okay. No, I was They're practicing just, a song just, for you. If you would turn around for a sec, I know it's a long way, Mark, but if my friend Rod happens to be here, there's a science center back there. Finn was two years and ten months old, and we were here with friends, and it was the last day, or the last time I was in Amsterdam, and we stayed on a boat, and we went there and took the kids there. Which is really lovely. So I don't know if my buddy's here at all, but uh, that's a bit of a memory. And uh, and his wife is a teacher, and she was shocked by the behavior of the children. <laughs> but but uh, see how badly we have adults are here. Oh right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We uh, you know, and you'll see the tower up on the left there, Mark. Yeah. See the tower? Yep. That's a uh, that's a church tower. I know what is it. If you need any other sort of commentary, <laughs> I'm, I'm here for you. And these are boats either side on the canal, too. We're on the Hamstel River, because it's where the, where the hamsters we're used on the, to run. Uh, we're on the Oudes Hums. Can you try and say that? I, I, I'm not trying to speak Dutch to you, but I could I could cough for you. No, I try double Dutch. Yeah. Double Dutch. Yeah. Double Dutch. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, uh, we're oh. just going to miss it. Yeah. Under the bridge. Oh. Jeez, we, we should have sang for you, but we're hanging out with the puppy here, which is lovely. You know, do you know what a Dutch uncle is? What's a Dutch uncle? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you're a good one. Go Does everyone agree? I think in all fairness, there are four people and one gorgeous dog on this boat. But I think it's fair to say that Lee is by far the most attractive person here. Um... And I would have given Mark number two, but with his broken finger okay, now. We have low connectivity <laughs> here, low no connection. Maybe go yeah. quicker. Have we lost connection? Okay. Sorry. We I just got connection. a message that we have low connectivity, but we can't go any quicker because these boats are so slow. The low um, okay. Can you not? No, but never really. You never. Eh. To have loved and lost. Don't worry about that. We've only got three minutes left, so don't worry about your phones and stuff. Oh, check out the uh, <laughs> the farm on the top of the houseboat here. I met my love. Look at the shutters on this building over here. That is fantastic. That's Grotzwen. In case you need to pronounce it. Isn't this luxury suites here? That is a okay. gorgeous. hotel called Luxury Suites here. Nice place to live. It's very central, but it's a bit quieter. Check out this wonky uh, bridge watcher's house over here. Really one of the very leany over houses. And what's nice about this particular one is that on the first floor, it's a cafe bar, they still got a sloping floor, so they haven't leveled it off. So you can go and sit there and have your drinks and stuff on a lopsided building, which really feels funny. I like it. Okay, we, got a new, we need a song. We need a good Irish song right now. Come into a big tunnel. Oh, then fare thee well, sweet Donny. Oh, this is a very, very long bridge. And we I'm crossing main ocean where the foaming 
build Lowell's Road And I wish I was in sweet on low And seated on the grass And by my side a bottle of wine And on my knee alas Oh, oh then may out of the tunnel. your my beautiful. heart's delight that is, that My is. pride and my only care And I roll my mare we're, we're out of the tunnel, Dave Dave, 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 Dave We're out of the tunnel the town No sweet Nigun Dunlo And I roll my mare So We're pretty much coming up to an hour Sweet Dunlo Oh. So, and a goodbye from lovely Pixie. You have a beautiful voice. Do you, hear, do you hear that bell in the back? That's. Does everyone hear that? Because it's good news if you do. Otherwise, it's in my head. That bell is telling everybody that we've had enough. Anyway, let's all come over here and let's all get in shot. If you stand behind Lee. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're going to stand... Behind Lee. Behind Lee, yes. The county cock. The Ca- Lee, yeah. County cock from the Lee. This county my cock. My sweet, lovely Lee. That's the name. My sweet, lovely Lee. We, uh... Here, let me take that for you. There we are. There we are. Here's everyone. Listen, everyone. Um, Mark here is about to learn to swim. <laughs> <laughs> and Lee is Captain Lee. And she's coming back to Canada. She's coming back to the Chosen Land. <laughs> and Dave Cavanaugh here is going to be an indentured servitude now for the next We're missing six Pixie. years. Oh, Pixie, Pixie. Pixie. Right, yeah. Very, uh, oh. excited about that. You're very excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I mean, I like uh, it. I there you are. There you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a dog's <laughs> life. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for Scion. Thank you for paying. Uh, and we want to thank the platform for taking care of us. And we're here. Hey, uh, hey Pixie. We're here. They're queer, and, <laughs> and we'll hey. be here forever. So Keep we love you. Tidy. <laughs> Keep here. it tidy. Keep it tidy. There's nothing wrong with that. Keep it tidy. Uh, There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing anyway, wrong with oh, come with indifference. Oh, poor oh, Pixie. Oh, she's oh, planted. Yeah. Okay. Come on, will you? Come so on, let babe. me just get my. Where's my glasses? Here they are. Yeah, it's time for time for Patrick to go swimming. She needs some. Oh, oh, no, no, Dave. Give him the mic. Yeah, we, we just, no, no, we just want to give him the mic. In all, in all the due mic. respect, we should just. <laughs> Great, I got the mic. Okay. And I could have turned it off. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on a <laughs> thing. Uncle Dave That's said I can. You can do it, Patrick. You can do it. You know, it's not right. Uncle Dave's taking it. You can put on the brakes and go over. You won't be laughing at Great. Okay, well. Thank you so much, everybody. And I hope you enjoyed the platform. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you can check out that quality of zoom again. Uh, what I love the idea of is having this kind of quality and being able to look at all the details of the building um, on all the buildings. So anyway, I think we're going to go out and have a celebratory dinner. And uh, thanks for joining everybody. Signing out. Bye.